Hi everyone, so this video is a haul video and it's a Priceline haul. For those of you who don't know what Priceline is, here in Australia it's pretty much our only drug store. Uh, so it's comparable to a CVS, not as wide of a range as CVS has, but it's the best we have for now. So we make do. <laughs> Priceline is pretty good. Um, I go in there fairly often even just to browse around. Um, and if you are a member of their rewards kind of club, you also get vouchers every quarter, I think it is. So that's always nice too. So this is a collective haul. Um, and I'll try to get through it as quickly as possible because it is stinking hot here today. It is close to 40 degrees Celsius, which is just over 100 Fahrenheit from what I understand. Uh, it's very icky and uncomfortable. So, uh, excuse me if you can hear the um, fans and aircon and stuff going in the house because it's so hot. But into the haul, first up we've got some lipsticks. A while ago they were having a Maybelline, I think it was 50% off sale. So in Australia, that pretty much means that we get US prices <laughs> when that happens. Or close to it, sometimes more. Um, but um, yeah, it's still better than full price. So I bought some of the, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. The Elixir Colour Sensational. Uh, lipsticks. I bought colour number 25 in mauve. These are really hard to read. Colour number 30 in Raspberry Rhapsody. Uh, colour number 20 in Signature Scarlet. And colour number 90, Rose Refined. So these are the colours that I picked up. There you go. Next I picked up an Essence palette. I have seen a couple of people um, actually rave about these products so I haven't tried Essence eyeshadows for a really long time and the last time they were okay but they weren't anything special. This palette seemed to have some really nice colours. They weren't too bright. They're all fairly neutral and fairly wearable. So This is the All About Nude eyeshadow palette from Essence. So as you can see, there's quite a few wearable shades in there. And yeah, they're all very nice. It's still stuck together with sticky tape for some reason. Priceline does it uh, because a lot of the stuff doesn't come with its own secured tape. So they just wrap sticky tape around it and it's such a pain in the ass to get off. <laughs> But yeah, I understand why they do it, because people with their grubby fingers just touch all the makeup, even though there's testers in Australia. We do have testers in most of the drugstores, or Priceline does at least anyway. And um, yeah, but it's still a pain in the ass. So <laughs> anyway, that's the Essence palette. If you, again, want to know my thoughts, uh, let me know and I can do that for you guys. Next is nail polish I picked up from Sally Hansen, purely because I want to do a comparison. And I don't know why they changed this. This is the new Pacific Blue. This is the old Pacific Blue. The sheer beauty of the old Pacific Blue just doesn't show up on camera very well, but as you can see, they are completely different. Uh, the new Pacific Blue is actually kind of shiny. It has little sparkles through it. The old one, completely a cream formula. Um, so no shimmer. And the colour difference, oh! <sighs> it was my favourite colour, but I bought heaps of backups. So as long as I store them correctly, they should last for a while. It was one of my favourite colours of all time, across all brands. And then they go and do this to it. Anyway, it looks like a nice enough colour. Not as nice as this one, but... I can do a comparison as well and show you the difference and hopefully I'm going to see if I can try to find some dupes for the old Pacific Blue that are still available for those of you who, like me, are in love with this colour and are just a little bit broken inside that they decided to change the formula. Also from Sally Hansen, I bought one of their Miracle Gel uh, polishes. This one is in Sugar Fix. It's a really nice powder blue shade. And the top coat that goes along with that as well. They are fairly expensive here in Australia. I think they're almost $17 per bottle. So they are up there 
as far as price goes almost as much if not the same as a bottle of OPI so it is quite expensive for Sally Hansen but um, I don't know if you would have been able to tell I don't have acrylic nails at the moment I decided to just let my nails grow out for a while um, and I've been trying this because literally nail polish peels off my nails I paint my nails in the same day if not the next day it just peels off I've got really oily um, nail beds and I just can't wear nail polish but this seems to hold up really well I almost get a week from it so I will do a full review if you're interested and take photos daily photos to show you um, maybe you've got the same problem that I do but that's why I get acrylic nails because I love nail polish and I want to wear it but I can't get more than a day from a color so I can let you know my thoughts uh, but that is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel because I bought two Sally Hansen products I oh well, I spent more than $20 essentially that is more than $20 <laughs> um, so I got a free gift with purchase it's just got a cuticle balm a miracle cure for severe problem nails and a color as well so it's $49 worth of value next is a lip color this one is L'Oreal Paris Rose Final 102 I don't know what these are called because that is all that's on there but it's the one that you dip in and you brush on <laughs> that's the colour there at the bottom it's a very wearable colour again uh, very neutral nice and pink I thought I'd give that a go to see if it compares to any of the higher end lipsticks that are similar to this one next is another Maybelline product it's their baby lips it's the berry crush so a little bit of color um, moisturizing lip balm a foundation that I wanted to try it's the better skin by Maybelline the color I got is 005 light beige I'm not sure if it's going to be light enough but we'll give it a go and see how that one works it says flawless finish foundation even skin tone instantly better looking skin in three weeks so I will try that one out and uh, see how it goes next is an nail polish that I thought was really cute and very fitting for the holiday season um, or winter which here happens to be at two different times of the year um, but this is Essie it is on a silver platter it's a silvery gold glitter base with tiny blue bits of glitter through it it's just a really nice really different glitter color and I've got nothing like it I thought it would be nice to match in even with the new Pacific blue they just make a really good combination as well so gonna have fun playing around with that one and last but by no means least is something I was super excited about and if you follow me on Instagram which if you don't you probably should because I'm always on there um, the link is down below but this is a set of the Revlon color burst balms or the kissable lip balm stains or the balm stick things that you put on your lips why I was so excited is that they sell this kit for $29, so let's just say $30 to round it up. That's $6 per balm. In Australia, you normally pay close to $18 per balm. So in this kit, it means you're saving $12 for each of them. You're only paying $6. That is a crazy saving and it's awesome value, particularly if you just want some stocking stuffers for your friends. You can divide up this gift set. You can give it to somebody as a whole set if they're really into makeup. If you just want to split it, you've got five different colors. They're all great colors. They're the real deal. The same as the individual ones. It's just you're paying six bucks each instead of $18 each, which is crazy, ridiculously expensive anyway, but that's Australia. <laughs> so that's the last thing that I purchased from Priceline. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below and let me know if you want me to review any of these products in more detail. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, like always, and that's pretty much it for now. So keep your eyes out for my videos coming up soon. 
and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye!